Up until recently, Zoom had a free built-in generator of live captions or subtitles during a Zoom meeting. However, they have now moved this feature to be accessible for paid pro accounts only. But I have a workaround for you, so I'll teach you how to get free live closed captions in Zoom meeting. The free option offered by Zoom used to appear inside your Zoom meeting when you click the closed caption button. It was called enable live transcription and looked like this. But now when you click on this button with a free Zoom account, here is what you're presented with. The first two options, assign someone to type and I will type, are labor intensive and I can't see many use cases for this. We wanna have free, automatic and instant live captions generated. One option is to install rev.com from the Zoom Apps Marketplace to create a free live transcription. And you can see exactly how to do that in this video right here. That option is great for having a transcript that is fully searchable both during and after the meeting, along with attaching a copy of the audio to the file for full archive purposes. However, you can only display the captions to other participants with that option if you share your screen. But we wanna have live closed captions displaying on everyone's screen automatically. So to do that, we're going to use a third party closed caption service. So click copy the API token and ensure it says API token copied to the clipboard. By the way, if you're interested, API stands for Application Programming Interface and it's used for getting apps to talk to each other. The free third-party closed caption service we're going to be using is called Web Captioner. So go to webcaptioner.com where you can see more details on the service on the screen here. You don't need to set up an account, but I do encourage you to do so as it will save some of your settings to make it easier the next time you want to use it. We'll get started with the process in a second, but first, I'd love it if you would hit the like button now if you're getting some value out of this and consider subscribing to my channel to help me out. Also, if you'd like to make tutorial videos just like this, check out the eight pieces of equipment I recommend in the description below. So the quickest way to get yourself started using this web service is to just click the start captioning button. Then in the bottom right of the screen is the settings area. Click this, then click settings. It will take you over to this page. On the left hand side, come down to the channels button, then we want to add a channel. So click zoom here and this window will pop up. Here it outlines the three steps you need to do to get this to work, but we've already done them. So now I just simply paste the API token that we copied earlier and I recommend you keep the first option here for the update frequency, then click add channel. Come back down here and click start captioning again. And we can see here that the captions are being generated. Back in the Zoom meeting now, a message pops up that live transcription has been enabled. And voila, here now are the free live captions at the bottom of the screen. You can move the box around here wherever you see fit. And if we wanna change the size of the text, we just come down to the little arrow next to the closed captions button and click subtitle settings. And we can make them a little bit bigger or smaller here. Other options here include viewing the full transcript by pressing this button, which shows everything from the start of the meeting and we can even save the transcript there if we want. This transcript is quite basic though, so I do recommend using the Rev Meeting Assistant at the same time. Back over on the Web Captioner page, you can see there's an indicator for if you're speaking too quiet or too loud for automatic captions to recognize what you're saying. So make sure you speak loud enough here. Then you can simply click Stop Captioning to stop the captions displaying in Zoom. So now in Zoom, when I speak, the captions have stopped being generated. If you've created an account with Web Captioner such that it saves your settings, but then you want to join someone else's unique meeting, you will need to come back to Settings, Channel, then reconfigure Zoom to have the correct API token for that meeting, and click Update Channel before the captioning will start working in that meeting. The transcript that was saved from this method only saves as a basic text file. So watch this video to learn how to set up a smart transcript with audio embedded, which is fully searchable, interactive, and replayable. And it works at the same time as this web captioner. By the way, app, by the way, API stands for 